Um, are you talking about just any size, like Will and Zach? Well, like somebody like Will or Zach. Yeah, uh, it's been great. It's, yeah, yeah, it's been it's been great. Um, actually, a lot better than I expected. Yeah, you know, I still get my post touches, um, but then you know the, the amount of work I put in the offseason and the three point shot, um, it just makes it almost impossible to guard. You know, you, you look at the team. You know, look at the, the team that we played. You know, it's hard for them to guard, and they know every play that we're running, everything that we're doing all the time. So um, it's, it's gonna be scary. Just not having Zach in Europe. Is that can you still work toward what you're trying to do personnel wise here or is that sort of work the context of the point where it's just like that? Um what do you mean by that? Sorry. Well like obviously you're gonna play a certain way with Zach. But yeah. you have to do things different than you're play. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, like I've seen Zach here, he's been he gets a lot of attention, we've got a lot of stuff through him. Um, but we also have other, you know, when I'm playing with Caleb, it's a good it's a good mix up. When I'm playing with Will. Um, we're teaching him, you know, obviously post low. Um, he's a good post player as well. So I think, you know, when, when Zach's in the game, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm less aggressive, but it's more playing off of him. Um, but when he's not there, it's just attacking. So I think it's both. Um, are you at the point where you're looking for your three or are you waiting for the three to come to you? Oh, well, I'm, lo I'm looking for my three. I'm looking to shoot any time. Um, that's just, I don't know, that's how I think about that. I'm a scorer, that's what Tank, uh, that's what Coach Tank got me here. So, he got a scorer in the spot. What does Coach Tanner talk about your role this coming season with him then? Um, I mean, just, I mean, I, whenever I've talked to Coach Tank, it's been trying to play the four as much as possible. That's what we, that's what we talked about during the off season. That's when we've had meetings, that's what we talked about. He doesn't really care about the five as much, um, just because there's obviously the back to the limited minutes. Um, but whenever we talk, I, I post up a little bit in practice, but not as much as I used to. And every time, you know, it's out of practice, I'm working out, it's always on the floor. So shooting, moving, that type of thing. Also, now you get to Europe. What, what part of the trip are you most looking forward to? I think I'm looking forward to all of it, really. I mean, just leaving the country is my first time leaving the country. And so just having a new experience. Um, I've talked to like three or four older players, you know, PJ, um, a couple of the other guys, and they said it's been the best, I don't know whether it was on vacation or uh, whatever you want to call it, it's been the best like vacation they've ever had in their lives. So just, you know, doing that and also doing that with the team and your coaches, I think it'll be great for us. It's for team chemistry, but also just no experience is good. With the summer kind of wrapping up, did you get your body to where you wanted it? Sorry, one more time? With the summer wrapping up, did you make the, the, the progress physically that you wanted to make, change your body, whatever, the quicker? Oh, yes, 100%, 100%. I think I'm a lot quicker than I was, um, especially on the defensive end. Um, obviously, you can continue to prove it is still, you know, at, at this day, you know, we still have a, a bunch of time for the season, so I'm still looking to make improvements and jumps. Um, but I'm happy where I am. You know, I set out a schedule at the as soon as we lost last year about what I was going to do, what steps I needed to make, and what goals I needed to accomplish. And you know, right now I'm on pace. So what's got to happen for you to have the sort of season you want to have here? Feel like hot button keys for you? Um, just being consistent, uh, just knowing the plays and making sure I'm, um, you know, rehabbing, doing all those things. I think it's. Once you get to this level, it's about making sure you get enough, get enough sleep, nutrition, um, and taking care of your body on and off the court. I think that's the biggest. I think that's the biggest thing. I think everything else will fall into place. Are there any other adjustments besides that three-point shot that you have to make when you're playing the four versus the five? So, no. Not really. No. To be honest with you, no. I mean, it's. I guess on the defensive end, you have to guard a different type of player. Um, but sometimes other teams have bigger fours. Sometimes they have quicker fours. So. I think it was the three-point shot on offense, but then on defense it was the like, you know foot speed. I think both of them improved. So um, I don't think it's. Just, I thought it was going to be harder. I will say that, but it's, it's not really been that difficult. So far. You looked really comfortable attacking off the dribble today. Is that something you spent a lot of time working on in the offseason? Yeah, yeah, and especially when practice started, just getting the ball off the rim and going and pushing. If I'm the four or the five, that's something that I really worked on. Um, and then, yeah, just attacking off the dribble. You know, when you post up, it's going to get to a point where teams are going to have to double. I don't know if they'll double with Zach in the game, which would be nice. Um, but anytime else, they're going to double. So being able to attack off their perimeter, it makes it to where they 
it's harder for them to double. Through. What are your thoughts on the recent news of Big Ten expansion? Already knew you 